Question 5.1 consists of five finance questions that were designed to assess your understanding of income tax and simple interest calculations. You're given a situation where a person is going on retirement and the estimated value of a full pension fund benefit is 3,457,920 rand. This person has two options when she retires. Option 1, withdraw a third of a full pension fund benefit or option 2, withdraw 100% of a full pension fund benefit. You are also given the retirement benefit tax table. In question 5 on 1, you have to write out the person's full pension fund benefit in words. The full pension fund benefit in words is 3,457,920 rand. In question 512, you have to calculate the amount of money that this person can withdraw if she chooses to withdraw one-third of a full pension fund amount. This is equal to a full pension fund amount multiplied by one-third and this equals 1,152,640 rand. In question 513, Shamila chooses to withdraw 100% of a full pension fund benefit and she wants to loan money to her daughter. In 513A, Shamila stated that the amount of tax you will have to pay on the estimated value of a full pension fund is more than 1 million rand. You will have to verify showing all calculations whether the statement is correct. From Table 4, a full pension of 3,457,920 rand falls in the taxable income range of 1,050,001 rand and above. The tax rate for this range is 130,500 rand plus 36% of taxable income above 1,050,000. The equation for this tax rate will be 130,500 rand plus 36 over 100 multiplied by the difference between the full pension amount of 3,457,920 rand and 1,050,000 rand. This will simplify to 130,500 rand plus 36 over 100 multiplied by 2,407,920 rand. This simplifies further to 130,500 rand plus 866,851 rand 20 cents and this equals a tax of 997,351 rand 20 cents. Since this amount is less than 1 million rand, you have to state that the statement is incorrect. If you don't make this last statement, you will lose one mark. In question 513b, the ratio of the estimated value of Shamila's full pension before tax to her daughter's loan amount is 9,87982. to 1. You will have to determine to the nearest thousand rand the amount that her daughter will borrow. The ratio of 9,879821 means that the daughter will loan an amount that is 9,8798 times smaller than Shamila's full pension amount. So the loan amount is equal to the full pension amount of 3,457,920 rand divided by 9,8798 and this gives you a loan amount of 349,998 rand 99 cents. Rounding this value to the nearest thousand will give you a loan amount of 350,000 rand. In question 513c, Soraya, the daughter, agrees to borrow the money at a simple interest rate of 7,8% per annum. She intends to repay the total amount with interest at the end of a three-year period. You have to determine the total amount that she will have to repay after three years. The interest amount over 3 years is equal to 7,8 over 100 multiplied by 350,000 multiplied by 3 years and this equals a total interest of 81,900 rand. The total amount that you have to pay back is equal to the interest amount of 81,900 rand plus the loan amount of 350,000 rand and this equals a total amount of 431,900 rand. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.